Welcome to part six of the Final Fantasy VI commentary. And now we're beginning the separate scenarios, and now we're, we're starting with Locke first, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> because we can. Yeah, pretty much. Damn it. Nuts. Okay. <laughs> We, uh, need, we need to infiltrate the town. It's a good thing we have a cardboard box, because <laughs> this would be extremely difficult without it. Wait, what do you mean cardboard boxes haven't been invented in this world? Damn. We have magic tech armor, but we don't have fucking cardboard boxes. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no elixir. <laughs> You're that thief. Lock, aren't you? <laughs> oh, what do they have? What need do they have? Of cardboard boxes when they have hammer or space pockets. Think about it, dude. Hello there, stranger. So in order to advance anywhere else in this town, you need to steal clothes. You need to rob this man naked. Hello there, stranger. I like the name of his monster name when he's naked like this. B-Day Suit. <laughs> woo woo! He's <laughs> I think I was saying. Hooray, I stripped a dude. <laughs> Final Fantasy has reached a new low. Well, at least he's not can, cross-dressing. Can Final Fantasy get any weirder than this? Seven. Yes, it can. <laughs> Seven. You don't want to know what the Japanese can really do when they set their minds to it. That was... That was We've stolen the merchant's clothes, which is necessary in order to get past this one kid who's being a prick. Got you for life. Yeah. Why can't you just kill him? I, well, he's a kid, first of all. I just don't understand why he won't let anyone else pass besides a merchant. Because... I don't know. Anyway. And I'm buying another bucket pair of sprint shoes. Hooray. <laughs> Like an idiot, I forgot to unequip them before I fought Ultros during the save point. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, remember to unequip these, because it would be annoying if you had to buy a third pair. Well, uh, money won't become an issue <laughs> at, at, at all in this game, ever. Yeah, I know. But there's another reason why we need to dress up as a merchant, so we can beat the shit out of this guy and steal the cider. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there again, stranger. Ow. Ow. You killed me. <laughs> yeah, Dude, we did. That <laughs> is brutal. <laughs> Took the old man cider, you bastard. It's not actually cider in the Japanese version, I think. Yeah, uh, it's Yeah, this is um one of a uh, one of those things where they I guess they think alcohol is less acceptable than death because uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we just sent an innocent man to oblivion <laughs> Ugh, now he, he's supposed to give you the password but the fucker forgets so you have to guess between rosebud courage and failure Obviously, the most optimistic response is the right one, so... <laughs> so, just take a while to guess your first time playing. <laughs> no, I never had any... I never had any compulsion to pick Rosebud. And why would I ever pick Failure? Am I that emo? <laughs> just, well, I just want to... I'd be curious just to see what it does. Well, if you get the wrong answer, it just fades to black, plays the bolt sound, and then uh, you just you gotta choose again. <laughs> a minor inconvenience. I don't even know why it's there in the first place. I betrayed the town, you bastard. But actually, what, what, it's a little, little information. If you talk to that guy before you have to infiltrate the town, you'll you'll um you'll catch him in the middle of writing a letter to the empire letting him know of the the town's weaknesses which is why this place was invaded in the first place is, is it wait hang on isn't there a star wars reference if you keep your outfit on before coming here yeah if you met and uh, besides uh you can steal the clothes from the merchant you can also encounter one of the soldiers and you can steal his clothes um which honestly i never really found the point of doing besides talking to other soldiers but if you manage to get in if you manage to get to Celeste with this, the uniform on, she will make a Star Wars reference saying you're a little small to be an Imperial Trooper, aren't you? 
<laughs> yeah. And for some reason, like, this whole beat-up sequence they're given to Celeste was cut out of the advanced version. And it's not in the Japanese version either. Oh, it has something to do with current events at the time. Um, something about uh, some torture crimes that were going on around that time. And, you know, people get touchy, so they took it out. Cool I don't like how... Like that. We're going to show it anyway. <laughs> and these chains were also removed, too. I think. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, My I name's think it was. Locke. General Sellers is out. <laughs> Uh, Let's go, Sellers. <laughs> I can barely walk, but you seem to be walking just fine. <laughs> Liar. I have a an extra pair of sprint shoes. Will those help? <laughs> Will they? <laughs> <laughs> All this dialogue and this soldier does not hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> he feels asleep. I like how one of the options is stealing is wrong. <laughs> I get the feeling that's a woolsey. Yeah, that's a woolsey joke. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta smuggle, smuggle in a PSA in there somewhere. Found five hundred GB. Yeah. Funny. Just, it's just the the tone of the dialogue suggests that Ted Woolsey likes to have fun with his translations. I think that's the case too. <laughs> well, he clearly is in some scenes. You're supposed to wind the clock to reveal the door. It, 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 the, the only way you can ever find out how to do that is when you talk to these group of kids on the upper level of the apartment. Not the apartment, the mansion. And the kids start singing nursery rhymes. One of them says, wind the clock, wind the clock. Which is the, actually your only hint of ever figuring out how, where to go next. Hmm. But now we have vector pups. With If left alone, use escape, the pussies. But I want my experience, dammit. <laughs> Yeah, but Celeste actually starts out pretty bare bones when you first find her. Uh, but uh, obviously, that's what this oh, room is for because you can you find know, a lot of equipment for her. Would kind of be stupid if they locked her in with her equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know with Final Fantasy. Yeah, but she kind of equipped with the power of ice. Stay cool, guards. Oh no, you're still here. <laughs> God damn it. Villain, villains are marginally smarter in mar modern RPGs. They take away your equipment. They just put it in a box right outside your cell so that <laughs> when you break out, it's immediately accessible. They want to give you a fighting chance if you escape. <laughs> I'm looking at Bioware as I say this. I'm looking at Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, the guy that did kidnap him was Dalton. He's a fucking moron, so... <laughs> And yeah, we'll probably get to that game eventually. Oh, yeah. Especially now that it's on the virtual console. <laughs> now, because Celeste is blonde, I actually, when I first saw the Final Fantasy Anthology CG intro, I thought the blonde woman walking in, walking through that, that, that whole sequence was Celeste. It's actually blonde Terra, but, you know. You can see why I was momentarily confused. Consistency be damned. <laughs> Do you think though that's why they made they changed Terra's it hair? Might, it might be. I definitely appreciate the contrast. Although personally, I think it also has something to do with the with anime characters' tendency to have weird hair colors in general. <laughs> Not only have weird hair colors, but somehow look like it's completely natural to do so. We almost out of here. Yeah, we are. Actually, that was the last part. Uh, good. You reminded me of someone. You're a woman, therefore I must help you. Wow, that's a really vague <laughs> way to approach it. The uh, the whole side plot with Locke's lost love and stuff. Yeah, we'll be exploring that later on. Yeah. You know, during the second part of the game, which is entirely made up of side quests. <laughs> much like, well... <laughs> The entirety of Mass Effect 2, really. <laughs> Recruit no, we have now. If Gold Bear is in Primordite. The bear in a thing I Actually, can't make you know out what, what though, it is. The, 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 the bear sprite took me the longest time to realize it was a bear. <laughs> Boy, I can tell it's a bear. 
I mean, oh. it, but it took me the longest time to realize where the face was. At first, I thought where its ears were, those were eyes. What? And, <laughs> whatever, you, 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 <laughs> look, don't blame me, man. I was only six years old. <laughs> Alright, I get what you're saying. Some of the old Pokemon red blue sprites did have the same kind yeah, of. Well, those are butt element. ugly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, actually, we're going to take a little detour here to open this chest that I didn't open up on my first uh, venture through the cave enough for good reason. If you leave this chest alone until, this, until you get to this part with Locke and Celeste, it becomes a Thunder Rod. Which makes the upcoming boss pathetically easy. <laughs> good to know. Uh. Sir, to thank you, H.C. Bailey here? No, I've been know this. I knew this for years. Okay. Well, I didn't know until H.C. Bailey showed me. And now you so do. So thank you, H.C. Bailey, anyway. <laughs> yeah, the treasure chests in the uh, in, in these caves, um, actually, their items change to match the point in the game at which you open them. Since you pass through the caves multiple times... So, intentionally leaving the chests unopened the first time you come will get you better items. The um, second time. Motorcycle tank? <laughs> Don't the even try to fight this thing without Runic. We'll get your ass owned. We're gonna shoot the Thunder Rod. Booyah, bitch! Well, you could do that too. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> if you're going to fight that the legitimate way, fighting without Runic is suicide. Because Celeste absorbs everything that guy does. But if she's not absorbing everything that guy does, he owns you, ass. Yep. He owns you rather quickly. And that is the end of Locke's scenario. So who are we going to next? Well, if you're knowing me, I always do save in second, so we're going to have to save in next. I've known you for a while, and I didn't know you do save in next. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs>